Raphael, I don't want you to be me. I want you to be a better version of you. But in order to create a better version of you, I'm going to have to have you memorize some things I know that work. Then I want you to be able to bring them out your way. Because when you're sitting in front of a customer, I don't want you to have to worry about what you're going to say next. I want you to be prepared for anything. When I sit down in front of a customer, and by the way, whenever I'm on your property, I am available to sit down with one of your customers. I don't care whether it's a motor trend thing or just getting close thing, or it doesn't matter. I will always be, be willing to help you with your customer. And when I sit down in front of one of your customers, there's nothing they can say to me. There's no objection they can give me that I am not fully prepared to handle six or seven different ways. Doesn't mean that I close everybody. Doesn't mean everybody buys everything I've got to say. But I don't need to worry about what I'm going to say next. I can pay attention. I can pay attention to their body language. I can listen to the tonality of their voice. I can read between the lines if there are lines to read between. Because I am fully prepared. And that's what I want you guys to be. I want you to be fully prepared. Now we're going to talk about Motor Trend, but your, your Motor Trend package is really simple. It's a beautiful thing. It's value laden, but it's also very simple. There's not a lot to learn. So we're going to have time today and tomorrow to talk about some objections we know we're going to get. Uh, Raphael, are we going to get a price objection? Of course. Of course we are. Why do people object? Troy, why do people object to us? Because aren't we putting a really good price out there? Well, everybody wants a deal. So at the end of the day, everybody's always looking for the best thing. A lot of people object not just because of the price, because of what they get. Like, for instance, like you were saying that you would add on, like the like same motor train thing. If you build all the value what you're saying in it, in the get go, they shouldn't be able to object. You should give them, you know, this is what I'm thinking. Like, when I go on a close, like you said, I have an, I know what they're going to, I actually, it's weird you say it, I actually feel like I know what they're going to say, price, don't like the color, well, you know, it could be any scenario, so that's, that's an open-ended question that you left me with, you know, I mean, there's numerous ways to surround Well, the, I mean, look, if, if I meet Raphael as my customer, and I meet and greet him, and I take him through the process, and I help him pick out the right vehicle, and I show off my store the right way, I, I let him know all the value that comes with the vehicle. Um, he gets to like me and trust me a little bit. Okay, first of all, if we if he came in on a specific vehicle on the internet, chances are the price had to be somewhat attractive, right? It's always attractive. Right, so, so he came in based on the vehicle and the price. So theoretically, if he likes the vehicle, the price brought him in, he likes me, he's cool with the store, when I put the numbers down in front of him, he should go, that's the price I saw on the internet, let's do business. The three apps. Theoretically, if I, if I've done, by the way, if I get someone to write up, have I done a pretty good job? If they don't like me, they're gonna get to write up? No. They don't, if we don't have the right vehicle, they're gonna get to write up? No. If they're not comfortable at the store, they're gonna get to write up? No. no. So I've done all these right things. The price brought him in, I put the numbers down in front of him, Theoretically, he should go, yeah, that's the internet price I saw, let's do business. But what happens in practical application? What do they want? More. How much better can you do? That's not a big enough discount. You can go, you can do better than that. So we know that we're gonna get a price objection. When I throw out payments, are they gonna object to the payments? Uh, are they gonna love what I'm giving them for their trade? Are they going to want to put down 20 or 25 percent cash? So look, when I get someone to write up, there's only a couple objections I can get. Price, payment, trade, cash. Yeah. If they got an objection to the color, shit, uh, they probably, we, would, we wouldn't have gotten a write up on that, on that particular vehicle. So we only have four, four real objections. Now there's some stalls. I need my wife. I need my attorney. I need my accountant. Um, I need to think about it, pray about it, mull it over. Um, you know, those are stalls. So there's really only four objections. And if we're not prepared to handle those four objections, shame on us. We're not professionals.